television. Now, hundreds, if not thousands, of Kenyans flocked to Kabarak University grounds for the burial of the late retired President Daniel Toroite Charap Moy. Now, despite the government having anticipated about 30,000 people, the number shot up, with some having to spend the night on the road just to catch the proceedings live from the location. Maria Nyambura was there as these details. 5 a.m. Wednesday, just before the gates to the Kabarak grounds opened, hundreds of Kenyans had already made their way here. Bracing the cold, some having to travel overnight to be part of an important day in Kenya's history. One by one, the security personnel frisked them. Security was tight with the officers leaving nothing to chance. Just a few meters past the entrance, the mourners received snacks as promised by the government a few days ago. Some making fashion statements with clothing inspired by the Kenyan flag. 31-year-old Jacqueline Anyoda was not left behind. She took a fashion risk. Achieving the look took close to three hours. Baba Moi alikuwa anapenda eshima ya bendera ya Kenya. Ili nchukua masama tatu. Kwanzia saa tisa, nilikuwa na maiza saa kumina moja na nusu. During Moi's era, Esther Auma was in primary school. Memories of the songs they sang to the late Mze Moi are still very fresh. Many here urging others to embrace and follow in Moi's footsteps. Nilikuwa napenda sana nyimbo zake. Kama hizi za tawala Kenya, tawala, tawala Kenya, tawala, raisi mwetu, tawala Kenya. Tuweze kupenda inchi yetu, tuweze kupendana, na watu waweze kupendana kabisa. In their numbers, Kenyans from all walks of life attended the state funeral service of the late retired president, Daniel Toroitich Arab Moy. Arriving as early as 3 a.m. just to witness this historic event, as Kenya entered an icon who impacted millions of lives, not just in Kenya, but across the continent. Mirian Yambura, Citizen TV, Kabarak Grounds,